Hi guys, it's me, Rusty, 78609 Central Texas, USA. Today is Sunday, June the 26th, 2016, I think, and it's 1.22 p.m. Central Standard Time, and it's not too hot today. It's about 87, 88, a little humid. We had a little sprinkled yesterday. But anyway, I'm glad to be back communicating with y'all one-on-one, -on -one, not driving down the highway, even though I enjoy taking trips. However, I got a comment I'm going to respond to, and thank y'all for sending those comments because, you know, uh, I, get, I get video block, I guess. But anyway, <clears throat> this is from a gentleman in New Zealand. He's sent me several comments, and I've done videos about a few of them. And in this uh, comment, he says, uh, he says, I'm t it's two parts, actually. He says, I'm interested to hear whether you get any negative reaction from people when they find out that you live in a, tra in a trailer, a travel trailer like I do. This is a travel trailer all around me. Uh, this is my studio in a 26-foot RV. I full-time RV for 23 years. And I've lived in an RV all those years. Uh, anyway, there's a lot to that story, but I won't get into it. it says, I'm interested if, if, said, if you get any negative reaction from people when they find out you live in a trailer. Not normally. There are a few snobby assholes that uh, <clears throat> refer to people that live in trailers, mobile homes, as, quote, trailer trash. Well, I think there's a lot of ignorance in that. Because, uh, you know, I've had the big homes with a swimming pool and all that crap. It's, it's just another way to live. Uh, but, no, I don't get a lot. I, I, I don't even know that I've had any. I mean, I hear people talking, and but <clears throat> I hear what they say about other people, and they know that I live full-time in a travel trailer. I mean, I've played golf with the guys. I still do every now and then. And, uh, yeah, they, they talk about trailer trash and, you know, ghetto people and shit. They don't know what they're talking about. They're just blowing air out of their mouth. You know, they've never tried it. They don't know anything about it. It doesn't mean you're stupid or you're a criminal or, quote, trashy. Uh, it just means it's another lifestyle. But having said that, uh, no, I don't get much in the way of negative comments. I don't feel bad about it. I enjoy the crap out of it. Actually, I wouldn't live any other way. And that leads to the next point he makes. He says, if you won the state lottery... How would you change your lifestyle? Interesting question. Uh, how would I change my lifestyle, or would I change it much? Well, <clears throat> first of all, one of the things I would do, if I won the lottery, would be to fund my children and my grandson to the max of the gift exclusion every year in the U.S., which I think is 14000 a year now. So I'd start a systematic gifting uh, program to give that much money to them every year. And also, uh, whatever debt they had, I would clean it out. And, uh, you know, and that, that would be a big help for them. And, you know, it doesn't hurt them. It's not going to spoil them because my oldest boy is in his, like, 41, 42, whatever he is. And my youngest son is uh, 32, 33. My grandson has just graduated from high school. And he's got a good head on his shoulders, so it's not going to spoil them. <clears throat> so, I mean, I wouldn't be destroying their life. You know, do no harm is a good way to look at life. And uh, that wouldn't do any harm, in my opinion. Uh, anything else I might do uh, as to my, my lifestyle? Uh, well, probably since I'm age 70, and I still enjoy traveling around, I mean, you know, even just in Texas or New Mexico, whatever, I'd probably buy me a, a small, either new or relatively new uh, motorhome, and, you know, rig it up so I can pull my Prius behind it, or some other small car, didn't matter, and but a small one, you know, just a, maybe 26 foot, would be adequate, smaller if I could find one. And, uh, you know, then I'd probably do a little, I mean, you know, I'd get that under my RV. So, I mean, I'd, I'd still continue to live in that, in the motorhome. I wouldn't, 
I wouldn't buy a home. That's totally out. Uh, as far as traveling over in Europe or South America and places like that, no. I've done some of that. And, you know, all you get is an upset stomach and jet lag. And uh, so that's that's not a viable. Uh, that's an illusion. It is. It's, an, it's, it's interesting, but it's an illusion. It is. And, uh, you know, traveling uh, is somewhat of an illusion, even in the U.S., but there are some beautiful places that I enjoy going to, and I've been to some of these places enough time that I, I would do that. Yeah, that would be another thing. So, you know, taking care of the kids and grandson is one. You know, getting changing my lifestyle to the extent of a motorhome. Uh, would I buy another car? No. Uh, not buy, I wouldn't buy a house. Uh, you know, that's about it. You know, would I play more golf? No, not really. I, I, I might. I doubt it. Uh, you know, I, you know, if, if, if I had the money from the lottery, then obviously I wouldn't need to do the tasting events anymore. Uh, I probably would continue to do them periodically. I might cut back to three, or two or three a month, something like that, and allow me plenty of time to mobile around in the, in the RV. But uh, you know. Uh, at my age and having seen some of the world, I don't think I'd want to travel. I mean, in Europe and South America and stuff like that, I really don't. Even first class, you know, even staying at the Hyatt and Marriott and all that crap. I don't think so. I mean, uh, it, it's just an illusion. You know, it's just another way to blow money. Uh, would I, what I might do, I mean, I might plan some trips with uh, my boy or my boys or grandson or, you know, take a a uh, trip of some kind with them, and uh, all expenses paid, of course. Yeah, that, that would put, be fun. And But other than that, that would be about it. And let me see if I've covered all of his question here, uh, or comment. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, how, 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 how would you change your lifestyle? Not much. Not much at all. And as far as me living in a trail, I love this stuff, man. I, I really do. It's so perfect for me. Uh, this is just a very comfortable lifestyle. Like I'm right now, I've got, I'm streaming Pandora music, uh, soft music, uh, checking out the internet, uh, plenty to eat, plenty to drink, plenty of wine, plenty of beer, fresh water. You know, what more can you ask for? You know, I got plenty of clothes. I got too many shoes. I got three pair of shoes and one pair of feet. So, uh, having said all that, all I can say is, is, if anybody wins the lottery and wants to fund me uh, to that extent, well, I would certainly take I tried fan funding on on a YouTube channel that I've got. I, I got $1. Or, oh, no, I'll take it back. Yeah, I got, well, actually, it was $1. And that was from my oldest boy. <laughs> yeah. Ta-da. So, anyway, having said that, thank you for your comment. Mr. New Zealand, I don't want to mention your real name or your whatever. I, I don't. I, I, I might sometimes, but rarely. But anyway, you enjoy. You guys enjoy your life. And if y'all win the lottery, good luck to you. You know, I'm your old friend Rusty. Just remember me, and I'll be glad to set you up with a direct deposit. You won't even have to drive down here and hand me the money. So be that as it may, thumbs up, carpe diem, adios, bye bye. Till next time.